The first thing you notice is that they've changed this tab and also changed the timeline. Which brings us at the best thing that they've done. Now you can see the sound waves so much easier. To see them even better, right click on it and go to detach audio. But if you want even more, go to manage tracks, go to adjust track height and make them big. As you can see now they are really big which makes it so much easier. Here you can fade audio, just click at the edge of this and drag it around. Also that is placed at the end of it too. So let's change the size to normal, do the same as before. And now you can see another great feature. Go again to manage tracks and you can add as many video tracks as you want. For example, I will try to add three of them. One, two, three. With this now you can make so many different effects and play with it as much as you want. The same goes for audio tracks, click on that and add audio track. So to add the music, grab it and just place it there. Another thing you can do now is move around the video and if you want to cut a part of it, just split it, right click on it and now you have two options, one delete which will leave a place in between and triple delete which will connect the two videos together. So let's click ripple delete and now they are connected and when you press only delete you have a place in between. To adjust the video click on the clip, here you have things like transform where you can rotate or flip the video, you have stabilization, green screen, lens correction and video effects tab. Also you can change color and motion, so to adjust brightness and things you can do it here. To change the speed of the video or crop you have them down here or just right click on the video and go to speed and crop and zoom. If it lags during edit, you can go to view, playback quality and change it. Also the export button is up here. You can name it or place it where you want to save it. To change the settings, go to settings, choose the video quality and change the resolution or the frame rate. After that is done, press ok and click export. I'm sure that they will fix some little things that will make it way easier to edit but for now I think they've done a great job and with some time we will get used to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like and subscribe and I will see you on another one, bye.